Hey everyone, my name is Alex. I am so excited for you guys to be joining my class. Today we're going over one of my favorite parts of singing, and hopefully by the end of this lesson, it will be one of your favorite parts as well. Improvisation is found in many different types of music, not limited to country, jazz, pop, R&B, and musical theater, and it's a great way for artists and characters to express themselves within a song. Today, this lesson is going to focus on a specific type of musical improvisation, and that is, drum roll please, riffs and runs. Here's a little background. Riffs and runs are simply a collection of notes on a scale or scales that are strung together to add a little flavor or flair or zest to a song. We're going to use one of the many scales that we could choose from today and see how that can help us create our own unique riffs. The scale we're going to be using today is the pentatonic scale, and it's called the pentatonic scale because it consists of five, hence the prefix penta, notes. And those notes are C sharp, D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, and A sharp. But for the purpose of this exercise, we're just going to name them one through five. Sing along as I play these notes. Ah, or one, two, three, four, five. Now that we've gone over the scale, let's take a look at how we can make this scale sound more like a riff. Join me as I sing these combinations of notes. One, one, two, one, one, two, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. Great job. We can also do variations of this scale, for instance, two, Two, three, two, two, three, four, three, two, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, two, three, four, five, one, five, four, three, two. Great. Now, I know it might not sound much like a run right now, but that's because we're missing the secret ingredient to mastering this skill. And that's speed. Continue practicing the sequence, and as you become more familiar with the notes, you can increase the speed. For instance, one, one, two, one, one, two, three, two, one, one, two, three, five, four, three, two, one. As you can see, you can also mix around the combination of the notes as well as mess around with the lengths of the notes to make your own unique expression. Now that we've gone through this technique, feel free to rewatch this video to commit this scale to memory. For some added fun, listen to your favorite song and see if you can put together the riffs that you're hearing in there. And I can't wait to see how we're able to incorporate these in our next lesson. See you next time.